busloads of newsmen arrive at Yucca Flats, Nevada, for the biggest atomic explosion ever detonated in the United States. Security officers check credentials. In a few moments, the motion picture camera will show you, with the detail and accuracy no other medium can approach, the awesome beauty of man's most terrifying creation. Trucks move troops into positions four miles from the blast center, for this is a tactical exercise to test the physical reactions and morale of soldiers in atomic warfare. Never have troops stood so close. Below is ground zero. 3,000 feet above this target, the bomb will explode. From trenches, the men will see, as you will, a blinding flash. Then 45 seconds of unearthly silence, of tense waiting. Then the sound of the blast and its shock, which rocks our camera, will strike simultaneously. Remaining seconds are counted off. We see the same explosion filmed from a different angle, the flash reflected in the faces of the spectators. The fireball with a million degree temperature is a hundred times as bright as the sun seen from the earth. Then the sound and shock wave. Now the slow motion camera gives its record of the same atomic blast. The streamers you see are trails caused by rockets fired almost simultaneously for measuring purposes. The power of the detonation bends the rocket trails out of shape. Then again, the delayed roar of the atom bomb. orders the infantrymen to prepare to move into the blast area. They are unharmed by the searing light and the roaring wind of the bomb. But a check for radioactivity is made with Geiger counters before the men venture into the target zone, ground zero. Paratroops join the simulated seizure of an enemy position. Officers in charge say that morale was high after the explosion. As a weapon for close support of ground troops, the atomic bomb is found to be practical and America moves closer to taming this invention of almost inconceivable destructive power. <laughs> <laughs>